the pharmacy school or whatever. Is that live? Oh. Yeah, hey, <laughs> it's the Sway Covington Show. The best thing on the planet, baby. With your man Sway Covington, T Motor Comedian, and a special guest. Dr. Troy Rose, pharmacist. Dr. Joe, say it again. Troy Rose. Troy pharmacist. Rose, the pharmacist. And I brought my fiance Kelly with me. Fiance Kelly, hello. How you doing, fiance Kelly? Hey, that's good. That's good, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're a pharmacist. Yes. The street pharmacist or just a regular pharmacist? Like, which one? Uh, it started off as one, ended up with the other. <laughs> so you graduated to the real deal. Exactly. Okay. Legal drug deal. Legal, legal drug deal. I it always lit. You hear me? She might have been a whole thing. I don't hey, know, man. I know it was for me. I don't know what it is, yeah. So, uh, so what's the key ingredient in Viagra, Cialis, and uh, Levitra? What's the key ingredient? Viagra, Sildenafil. 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 Cialis, Tadalafil. Hey, you write that down. And Levitra, it's another form of it. I, it's escaping me right now. But How I want to feel. <laughs> That's it. That's <laughs> how I want to feel. Yeah. Pop to it all. You know what I'm saying? That's how I want to feel. So is there, is there any... any uh, Home version of this that I can go without a get without a prescription and can I just take some cucumbers and pickles Jeans and mix in. them together and uh, outside of outside of just shoving a stick down there you ain't gonna, <laughs> that, this, you ain't gonna make much yeah you ain't shoving no stick down there. <laughs> sky hey, man, you'd be uh, working in a hospital you'd be surprised I don't see some some, some stuff. stuff yeah, yeah. Seen stuff. some stuff yeah some stuff yeah I, okay story uh, about three years ago there was a guy he was kind of lonely. He was kind of lonely. He was lonely. So what he thought he would do is he would um have some fun, but he needed a, a device, I guess. Okay. Oh, the pump. He, no, he used an empty Clorox bottle. The Clorox got in and started to swell everything. So when they brought him into the ER, there was a big old hump around the midsection area. And it swelled up to the point because it infected him. The Clorox infected. Okay, wait, 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 up. wait, wait. So first of all, it's back and up. looking like he had elephantitis. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So in so, the wrong way. Wait, but yeah, wait. Right. Hold on. Hold. The Clorox bottle, dude. The the thing is a it's very not, small. This ain't bro. about him. So, I, so what? <laughs> this ain't about him. You funny as hell. <laughs> I'm funny. The, the dude who did the Clorox is hilarious. So I mean. So he was known as the Clorox kid for like the whole duration of his. I'm life. <laughs> Man, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. You said a like, Clorox bottle. So yeah. he was washing clothes or something, huh? I, you got I, tired of the towels, I, drying I hard. And just, I'm washing clothes, <laughs> mama. <laughs> Why you keep bugging me? <laughs> oh, wow. This That's Clorox bottle looking at me kind of real funny like. <laughs> so um, another question for you. Go for um, it. Kind of serious. Right. The mental illness people who use, uh, you know, prescription medication to maintain themselves. Mm -hmm. Is there something that in there that causes them to feel like at a certain point they don't need it anymore? Is that what is that about? Get, Does that they get a sense of complacency? They'll get a sense of complacency. Or it's like, oh well, I feel fine now. I've been feeling fine for a while, and then they'll have people around them that say things like, oh, I've seen posts about it like on Facebook, like saying uh, it'll be like a picture of a hiking trail saying this is the only mental medication I need. And that's the wrong thing. You, if you need medication to stay mentally aware, mm -hmm. you're gonna need that. Don't let anybody tell you like, "Oh, you don't need this. All you need to do is take a walk, read a good book, listen to some music." No, if you need medication, you need medication. Mm. Cause like you'll see them people like on the corner of Six Mile and Woodward sitting up there having fits. I'm not gonna help them if they having fits. I'm gonna see it from across the street because I don't want to be around it. Right. Yeah, you right. need your medication. And then they get off of it because they get complacent and they feel like, I don't need it I'm, anymore. Exactly. Right. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. And then you can have several different effects because if you don't properly wean yourself off the medication, it can cause psychoactive effects. Uh, oh, it can okay. up to the point of suicide uh -huh. or up to the point of. I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to kill myself. That's what happened with that football player who played for Kansas City. Uh, he one? killed his, uh, I can't think of his name, but he killed his girlfriend. Then drove to the facilities, and um, when the police and stuff got there, he killed himself. But he stopped taking his medicine for because he had the... Uh, CTE, probably. CTE, but he had a, like, they looked at his brain. Mm -hmm. It was so messed up, dog. It was so messed up that he took so many hits, 
and he was only in the league. He was in the league probably. Uh, and matter of fact, he was pulled over by the police, right? Like right after he killed his wife or girlfriend or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they didn't think, oh, you play for the Chiefs? Yeah, that's me. He was on the way to the stadium after he killed her, and uh, and they pulled him over. <clears throat> so they didn't even know that until he got to the to the place. And then when he got there. Um, I don't know what happened. Something up like the police was on the way there because they went to his house or something for a wellness check or something. He called his mom about what he did to his old lady. So then, by the time he got to the stadium, the police was then was there and it was. He was like, "Coach, I'm sorry. I'm sorry." Bow. And they, they said that he has quit taking his medicine. He started. He, started, he was telling people he started hearing voices in his head and all yeah, this stuff. Anytime you get the police to see us to, uh, to come, then they stop taking their medication. Right? Yeah. 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 And normally, a good deal of times that happens. That's when they either ship you off to the hospital. And then they'll decide whether you need to be put in a mental facility a long term or short term with outpatient group therapy and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But then they got to maintain. That's why a good deal of times, like say, if this person is on a mental health drug, like say the doctor says, I want to follow up with you in a month, two months. Right. And as soon as you show up or the doctor call you in and say, hey, I need you to come in real quick. And they'll get you a little pee cup, say drop. Right. Because they want to make sure that you're taking it. They want to make sure that it's in your system. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. But then also, too, um, uh, I know a, a football player. Uh, he played for the Falcons for a while, Atlanta Falcons. He uh, said, man, he had to stay on his medication because of the times that he didn't take it. Like, he would just get angry for no reason. And he was like, I had just bought a 70 some inch TV and put it on my wall. He said, the next day I ripped it off my wall. Yeah, um, I, I, uh, he said I ripped it off my wall and just broke it for no reason. He was like, I just went through a phase that he was like, but I was off my medication for a week. And he was like, once he realized that that was the issue, that he had the issues like that seriously, he said he won't never not take his medicine anymore for the sake of his son. And you know, <clears throat> so, so you when know, you have that cloud of judgment, you don't know who or what is around you. You think you do, but then after a while, it's just you're you're in a tunnel vision. Mm. So, what recommendation would you have for um, if your brother, sister, mother is taking it and uh, to make sure that they're taking it? Do you have any suggestions on you, what we should do? You have to it? trust them first off. Okay. You do have to trust them. Okay. Um, if there's somebody who is like chronically known to not do this, then you would have to go a little bit harder into the monitoring like you have the pill counters or the pill organizers, or it would get to the point where you would have to like treat them like an Alzheimer's patient. You would have to physically give it to them yourself. Right. And say like, okay, well here, I need you to take this. Or, because we've had those patients in hospitals where they'll stick the pill under their tongue and whatnot. It's like, nope, uh uh-uh, flashlight, here you go. Right. You, if you gotta maintain it, and sometimes you have to give them ultimatums. Like, look, either you're doing this Mm -hmm. or you're gone. No dessert. Yeah, or you're gone, or yeah. you're out of this house, or you, and I'm or, with you. Or, or, you, or you can tell them you they got to take a suppository. Can, you know they, what I'm they have some that are in there. That's that what form. I'm saying. They have you, some that you've are in there. You've had that before. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I didn't know how you drink your Vicodin. But anyway, yeah. Damn. So no, no, I don't. I'm just joking. I don't do none of that. I don't do none of that. I had a headache yesterday. Didn't take nothing. I don't. I don't. Trust the FDA or none of that. That's, you know, that's why you don't trust the FDA? You know what? I say the FDA good. drugs are the best drugs on the planet because they're regulated. They got lots and they got follow throughs and there's drugs many are the procedures. Drugs from Columbia. Oh, yeah, really? I didn't say nothing. Okay, so <laughs> what about that? What about uh, you know the drugs in America are very expensive. Capitalism, whatever the case is, um, a lot of people go to Canada. You see the Canada the commercials to buy your uh, prescriptions from Canada and Mexico. Is the drug still the same? It can be. Oh, he said can. It can so that, be. There's nothing definite, so you don't know what you're getting. You don't never know what you're getting. Really. Tell you the truth. I, I, that's, I mean, that's, that's why I don't yes, trust you it. do. If you go to the, if you go to the pharmacist, it's there already, man. It's regulated. I don't take and none if, of that if, shit. You don't take it. I don't take none of that shit. That explains a lot. No, like if, if, I'm if, saying if, it really as far as me being if, as far as me being sick or anything, I don't take none of that. What do you mean none what of that? What do you do? What do I do? Yes. I find remedies. I make my own soups. Everything, bro. If I you if I get sick like soups. that, yeah, like if I I'll, so I'll how do you eat soup. So I don't, how I don't do you take, know what the illness is? I don't take medicine. If I if I got a cough, if I'm sick, if I got a headache or anything like that, I'm not taking an aspirin. I'm not taking anything in pill form. 
I'm not. You got had a, you had a bad experience with a pill? No, I just somebody yeah. touched you when you woke up. You no, I just see I just I just see a lot of people. I seen a lot of people overdose. Were you on at pills. Mr. Cosby's house? No, the fuck. <laughs> No, it had nothing with me. Did you I, get the ship shop super deep? <laughs> no, we gave it to the house. Don't like the pill, you take the pill. Well, you see, you want to try to take something else. They give you the jelly and put it in the ball. No, 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 it's pop. No, man, no. Uh, bell in the pudding. I just, the pudding. I just noticed uh, a lot of people have a, a allergic reaction to certain. I seen. I yeah. just, I researched yes. my own shit, bro. So if I feel like it's not right for my body, like I took a, okay. like let's see, I want to say like five years ago, uh -huh. I went. And I had got some prescription pills from the uh, the doctor. Mm -hmm. My body rejects anything that it does not need to receive immediately. Okay. Like it doesn't so matter what it, it up is. Or I threw it all the way up. Really? It threw it. It came up. It made me actually sicker than what I was, mm. and I threw up. So from that day forward, I said I'm not taking no more prescriptions. I don't give a damn if I if aspirin anything. None of that. I don't, if they said the FDA approved it, I don't believe it. Well, I don't believe well, it. Yeah. You're well within your right to do yeah. that. Yeah. You are well within your right to do that. It's just like how Jehovah's Witnesses uh, go into hospitals right. and they'll say, it's like with Prince, he needed a hip replacement. He said he'd get it if it was a bloodless surgery. Uh -huh. He did not receive any blood from anybody. Um, you're well within your right to do that as a patient. That is like when they you go to the hospital, they give you your uh, patient's rights. Uh -huh. okay. That's what you have. So you have a right to refuse medication. You have a right to refuse any type of treatment mm. that you don't agree the, with. The, the hardest part about okay. doing that was okay. I had got surgery on my finger right here, and I and I I healed without taking pain medicine. It's one of the hardest things I could do. I ain't nothing know why you did it. I wouldn't did it. I know you wouldn't. Have. I wouldn't. Have. But I ain't you know what? But, no, but look, <laughs> you're right because uh, <laughs> I, I got uh, <laughs> my wisdom to pulled years ago. And they gave me some Percodan, I think it was. Percocets? No, it was Percodan, I think. Percodan. Yeah. That's old school. Yeah, that's... Make that anymore. Yeah, they're right. Hey, stop. When did you get... When did you, so, you, you get your tooth? Shut up, man. 67? No. Man, you know what? <laughs> a little 12-year-old ass. So, anyway, I took, like, two of them and it was just upset <laughs> stomach and was woozy. And I was like, yeah, I'm not... You know, I just dealt with the pain from Oxycodone then. Oxycodone has that effect. Yeah. If you, if you see, like, so... Active ingredient in Percocet or Percodan even back then is oxycodone. I ain't even back then like like five minutes ago. It don't even matter. It don't matter. So it don't even matter. So it was oxycodone. <laughs> I think you get a paper cut. You just die. Five minutes ago. <laughs> But what? it was like it was oxycodone. Okay. Oxycodone is known to not agree with people's stomach. I can't take oxycodone. Okay. Because I'm doing the same thing that he's doing. Okay. Uh, hydrocodone, which is active in Norco or Vicodin, mm -hmm. that's more easier for people, but it doesn't have the like the immediate strength of relief. But then again, also you have chronic pain patients who like they go to pain clinics every month. They get their monthly prescription of mm -hmm. uh, Percocet and whatnot. Yeah, right. They keep taking it, they keep taking it, and then they keep complaining like, well, this isn't working anymore. Yeah, it's because your body built up a tolerance to it. Oh. Yep. Then we're going to switch you to something else. Right. Then your body going to build up a tolerance to that. Right. Then we're going to switch, switch you to something, to something else. else. I'll, just put, I'll just tell you, go get acupuncture. I, I don't know, man. I, don't, mm, I think it might be easy to just that, take Like when I was doing, when I had a headache issue. Oh, yeah? I had got acupuncture. acupuncture. I don't really have headaches like that. No? Anymore. Hey, you're watching the Sway Covington Show. The best thing on the planet, babe. Mm -hmm. Live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, and other top social media platforms. Like, follow, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching WJZZ Cool TV, the, the coolest, coolest station in, in the, the world. world. Man, it's your man Sway Covington cool TV. <laughs> with Timo and a special guest, the pharmacist Dr. Troy, Dr. Troy, and. Fiance of Dr. Troy. Hello, darling. Fiance yeah. Troy. How yeah, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Troy. Yes. So you got Dr. and Fiance Troy. Yeah, so your fiance is a pharmacist. No, no. Oh, no. He's a store manager. No, no, no you're no, the. No, you're, you're the, the. You're the. You're we're the, talking yeah, to her. Yeah, right, we're oh. talking to her now. Oh, so we're saying. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so now, outside, no. no, you don't got to go outside just yet. Hold on. So the fact of the matter that he's a doctor. <laughs> Is there an expectation on the ring size? That's all I want to know. Is it is it an expectation on the ring? And how much do you think he got to spend? Okay. She's not going to She just want to be modest. I, I really don't. I think it should be, you know, just big enough for me to see. <laughs> so it could be under a carrot. I don't care. It's, it's got to be like five. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> so originally I was always, like, very conservative with okay. money and how I am. She said she originally, she got um, with a black guy. I'm like, hey, let's spin it all. <laughs> hey! 
Hey, bowling! Hey, no, I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. But after a while, like we were looking, okay. those things are gosh dang us. They, they're up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have a website where you design one. She designed one. It came out to over one hundred thirteen thousand dollars. Oh God! And I'll give you one hundred thirteen reasons why we not get married. <laughs> this what she I said. See, I got mouse going. Click, click, <laughs> click, 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 click. It's like, do you want this type of sparkle? Yes, I want two of those. Diamonds, <laughs> emeralds, platinum. <laughs> yes, right, right. So was it like a solitaire, or was it? How was it? It just had like um, three diamonds on each side, mm. and then one circular diamond in the center. Oh. It could have been a diamond. It could have been whatever stone. Whatever stone. Um, I was looking at it at the time, and. Mm-hmm. Every single time it came close to what he was saying. Honestly, I don't know even know what size I want. Right. But as long as it shows his affection. Flinched on. Yeah, but that would do. The same size as that little globe right there. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. So when you did find that particular ring that you designed yourself on the website. How did you present it to him? You just say, hey, babe, uh, you know, I cooked you dinner. Can I get this ring? Or I was sitting what? next to her when she was doing it. She was just watching. <laughs> I'm just watching the price go up. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept changing it. Yeah. yeah, you kept changing. He was like, no, I don't like this. I didn't, I didn't even know they had a website where you could actually design yeah, a ring. Yeah, you could ring. design a ring. So they got websites for you to do everything now. You can yeah. do anything. But I think it'll just, you know, it's, so, it's a lot of places where you can go instead of doing it. I know you want to do your own custom-made ring, but 119 hundred, that's a house. Yeah. I mean, what is a doctor? He's a pharmacist. I mean, you know, he got it, man. Oh, yeah, how, yeah. how long have you been a pharmacist? How long have you been out of school? How long have you been out of school? Since 2017. 2017? Oh, yeah. Well, no, you still got a couple of student loans to pay back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got business. Hey, wife wiping them out, so you might be able to get the student loans wiped out, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have uh, child support, ex-wife, student loans, bills? Yeah. Oh, oh so, so, so she'll be the, the, the second wife? Yes. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, that's what's yes. up. Okay, so you, when you, you ain't learned your lesson the first time, huh? Hey, man, shut up, man. No. Shut up there. <laughs> hey, look, so uh, when do you guys plan the date? When is the date plan? We don't know yet. You don't know yet? So how long have you guys been engaged? You want to answer that? Uh-oh. Two months. Months. About two months. It's like put them on a newly red show. Let's ask them some more. I'll come so how long? How long? Did you... <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long did it? How long were you together before you popped the question? We've been together since July. June. Yeah. June, beginning, July. Beginning, ending of June. Beginning oh, of oh, July. 2022. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The COVID, uh, you know, recovery. You guys met or? Well, I was working at Henry Ford downtown. Okay. And I would leave there after my shift and I would go to the right where she was managing at and just buy Oh, right down by Warren? Yeah. Okay. Yep, and just buy beers. And <laughs> just buy beers. Yeah. I only yeah. need beers. I only need beers. <laughs> Sit in your car and cry. What? After the stressful day. <laughs> You might not want to sit in your car drinking a beer you lose your doctor's license. I mean, it's working with kids. You know, there was all these different oh, things going on, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah that is... Uh, it's terrible. And then yeah. I got two of my own, and you just think, damn, these could be my kids. Right. Yeah. These could be your kids. It's, it's, it's that is... That is uh, so do you give your kids any special drugs that we should give our kids that we don't know about? Melatonin. Melatonin. <laughs> melatonin. That's, it's melatonin. melatonin. We both yeah. Yeah. Melatonin. Yeah. At yeah. night. I got two boys. They're seven and five. So. I got two girls. Uh, one's gonna be seven in February. The other one just turned two last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, seven yeah. and five. I'm, yeah. Hey, y'all want some melatonin. gummies? Yeah, yeah. Y'all want, y'all want some fruit snacks? Like, no, you give nah, them the fruit okay. snacks, but then you put a melatonin gummy in the fruit. Mm-hmm. They just unsuspecting. Just man, y'all are crazy, man. Two hours, <laughs> about right. a half an hour to an hour later. I just take them outside and let them run to death. You know, then uh, run you can't let them, you can't let them do that. It's a snowstorm. But okay, yeah, really? no, nah, yeah, that's even more because you put the snowsuit on and they got to jump through the snow. They can exert a lot of extra energy. They can yeah, get them So yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, I mean, you got the GPS watches on them now. Nah, that's not a problem. But what is the side effects of <laughs> melatonin? <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what was wrong with you? No, you just you know you put some on. You can put the little uh, apple tag on them. You know what I'm saying? You can always find them. So anyway. Uh, what is the, what is this what is the uh, side effects of melatonin? Is there too much? Or because I hear a lot of people, a lot of women, a lot I've of men never, using I've never melatonin. Read of anybody overdosing on melatonin? So there is there no, is a such thing as a melatonin overdose where your sleep schedule can be okay. messed up. Okay. Um, I've seen people again build up that tolerance to melatonin okay. as well. Right. It's 
it's basically it's all up in the air. It all depends on how your body metabolizes it, okay. as well as like age, weight, height come into play. Okay. Just like a person like my size would get drunk quicker than a person of your size due to metabolism and, and absorption. I thought you were trying to say I was fat on the slide, man. No, no, because it's people with more man. muscle can handle it better. <laughs> I handle, I handle, I handle up, mine well, well. I handle mine too, though. You know what I'm saying? You handle your liquor. Yeah, I can handle my liquor. Where's that? Where you with the bottle? On my jacket pocket. You ain't offer nobody if they want to pass the bottle hey, in the brown bag. I even forgot that it was in there until he said something about it. <laughs> so, look, <laughs> there's no side effects to uh, melatonin. I just, you know, because, like I said, they got it. And why are you looking at me like that? Because you're talking. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> just bring it out the bottle. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was like, Jesse, have a glass. <laughs> there's no glass. You got to do this like on the block. <laughs> just, uh, I don't care. Jameson? Jameson. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Oh, wow, he perked up. Like, of course, Jameson. I didn't really want to Anyway, so, um. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. All right, so, um, some people, uh, use, um, Sudafed for the children to put them to sleep, melatonin, That's NyQuil. So, what is, the, what is, the, what is, the, what is the side effects of those, man? You know? Well, NyQuil is. That's, you're going into crackhead territory with NyQuil. Okay. Well, I mean, children's NyQuil. Not, you know, they're not giving... No such thing as children's NyQuil. <laughs> it's not a children's NyQuil. Okay, what about, uh, yeah, the Sudafed or whatever, you know? No? Su Sudafed, uh, I mean, that has to be used, like, to the guidelines that are on the box. Or if, you, if your doctor gave you different guidelines, they, okay. they have to be followed. Okay. That is potential for overdose. That is potential for, like, hospitalization. Okay. Melatonin is a naturally occurring vitamin that happens within your own body. Mm. It's just, this is just synthetic melatonin. Okay. Uh, but again, yeah, your sleep patterns can be messed up. Mm. Uh, you can have insomnia. Because, I mean, if you're taking this as a supplement. What, you mean the melatonin? Yeah. Okay. You can you can get a dependency on it. And okay. And it's like, it's almost like Michael Jackson where you can't sleep without mm. the medication. Right. And now, ultimately, you're not going to have the same effect that Mike had. Right. <laughs> of course. Because he was taking uh, Diprovan, which is propofol. But that right there, that's... But melatonin can also... It, it, it's good to use in certain instances, like not all the time. Okay. <laughs> now, if that's with high dosaging. That's with high dosage. Because uh, it comes in 1, 5, uh, 10. I think there's another one in there as well. But uh, 10 is the highest dosage you okay. can get over the counter. Okay. So I had a question. So Why does Percocets make you itch? That all depends on how you're handling them. That all depends on how you're handling them. Like, are you taking too much? Or are you taking too little? I mean, it, like, your body reacts to different medications differently. Uh -huh. Like, whereas... I've never, you're the first person that ever asked me about Percocet I'm, making I'm, somebody itch. I'm asking about it because, like, yeah. I've seen somebody I know on about it. codeine, and, Ooh. like, you get the codeine scratches. I've seen I've seen a person overdosing on that's codeine. The, that's that itch. Oh, Ray Charles, I look at him. Yeah. You, yeah. You got Ray, 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 I got a rumor. Ray, over time. Love and me. Ray, he got a rumor. <laughs> so you made this music is silly. It's hey, a radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Go sing. <laughs> All right, so everybody, that's this. That's for information for you. Too much uh, melatonin will maybe cause a little insomnia. It maybe causes a dependency on it for them to get sleep. So stop trying to get your kids melatonin because you're trying to get it in. You know, figure out something else. Use another activity. Uh, I care about your kids. Lock them in the bathroom. No. Uh, <laughs> No, no lock him in. No, no lock him in. Get us going to the doctor today. Y'all know what He's not really prescribing lock him in the bathroom, man. You see, don't lock the kids in the bathroom. Don't do that. So, by you going to law, I mean, excuse me, medical school. This law school. Because he says something. You got to say disclaimer. You know, make sure you don't. So, by uh, you going to medical school, what is uh, what was the craziest job that you ever had to do to uh, help, help you pay through to get through medical school? Oh, we're going here. Uh-oh. Did I do that? She knows this answer. Uh-oh. But so we're going mean. here. What do you mean? I'm saying, you know, a lot of people uh, can't go, afford to go to medical school. You know what I'm saying? Like, like parents don't have the money or no, they, they haven't, you know, came into a windfall of cash to no, pay no. for it. So medical school is expensive. Hell. Right. So I was just wondering, like, you know. <laughs> she laughing like he was a stripper. She knows the answer. Really? She's okay, she like, he used to be a stripper or something. I, I, I would have been the pole, but not the stripper. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just gonna keep staring at her. <laughs> we, 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 we waiting for her to tell us what, what's the craziest thing you did to pay for medical school, man. He was a hoe. He was what? He was a, a prostitute? A gigolo? No, 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 he was an escort. No, no, no. They no. call him Paul the Escort. <laughs> no, no. Paul the Escort. Hey, that would have got me some attention. Can I call him? That would have got me some attention. He went around, that, so you was a hoe. Yeah, there may be a few adult films circulating. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Dr. Troy, huh? $500 a scene, four scenes a day, walk out with $2,000 cash. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Whoa. I, I didn't know this was going <laughs> I Wait a minute! Say like what, 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 what was you doing this? You say you so you mm-hmm. was a, so you did uh, a movies, uh, mm-hmm. uh, dirty movies, mm-hmm. pornographic movies. Mm-hmm. I ain't running for office. Wow! I, so I ain't running for office. What, run it, hey, hold on! Wait a minute! Run it back. Set and such a scene. Blah 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 blah. Five hundred dollars a scene. Four right. scenes a day. Four scenes a day. You leave out with two grand cash so, in so, your pocket. So you was Viagra or you was just no. all natural doing this? Right? I was also in my early twenties. No, wow. I'm in my thirties now. Wow. Early or late. So where did you draw it up? My thirties. So where yeah. where, where, where How did, old do I look? Fifty. No. Damn. <laughs> so where did you draw the line of what you wouldn't do? Was there a limitation when you were doing this? Like you was like, okay, I'm doing this, but in my mind when you went in, you was like, okay, I'm gonna do this, but I'm not gonna do oh, I'm not gonna do homosexual scenes. I'm not gonna no. do animals. I'm not gonna do well, of course not whatever. animals. I mean, I don't I don't know, man. You know, I, I would have never suspected you was doing. <laughs> Don't but, more movies. But then again, you know. I'm, I'm bi. Bisexual, bipolar, bi cigarettes, bi liquor, bi anything. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never heard that one. I like that one. Hey, <laughs> bi anything. So. You got the money for it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. People say it ain't tricking if you got it. No, it's still tricking. It's still tricking, yeah. It's still tricking. Right, you know, you're just not losing out on it, or you're not missing a bill to pay for it, but it's still. No, you it is what it is, yeah. You, you, you're still you paying money. for, yeah, sex. <laughs> So you, you, so how long did you do these? Uh, Three months. Through, why, why did you stop? But did you do it per day? You said just like a day. No, or? he said he said uh, four uh, films a day for five hundred. That's two day, five hundred per week. scene, two thousand dollars. That's six thousand a, a week. So how much? Okay, six thousand. So how much week. went towards your uh, education? Damn near all of it. So all of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm just asking, man. I don't know. When I'm they, when to they say out. you need this book, and then you go look at the book in in the school store, and it's like four hundred dollars used. Yeah, I know. And it's like, and then you say, oh, we have the book buyback at the end of the semester. All right, we'll give you $100 for this book. You paid 400 for 400 right. And right. it was used already. Right. Other people's stuff is highlighted. So, <laughs> so you just, oh, wow. I'm just. Blew your mind for a minute, didn't I? Didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. I, I thought you were going to say either. Chippendales or something, but I didn't know. Uh, you know what? But I mean, uh, I'm about to mess him up again, I, I, too. I, I, I was also a drag queen. You was a drag mm-hmm. He was a drag queen. Mm-hmm. This the man. doctor and, that and did wait, everything. Wait, wait, wait. Once, once again, you did this for monetary reason to pay for medical school. Yeah, I was broke. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you know, people go through the extremes to do other things in life, and it's not even as meaningful as what you did. You know what I'm saying? What you're doing now. I had fun. So, I mean, for to DJ for you to too high again, use that. Only on <laughs> <laughs> what about OnlyFans? You got an OnlyFans page? Oh. You should have an OnlyFans. I used to manage other people's OnlyFans, though. You did? Wow. I got an OnlyFans. We got a colorful life going I'm on over here, fans. brother. I don't, <laughs> and you, your only fan. You? No. <laughs> That's what you tell me. I got about I got about three hundred subscribers. You do, nice. but it, but it's but it's not. I don't use it for what a lot of people use OnlyFans for. What, what do you I, use I, I put my for? joke clips up there and stuff. Oh, like why that. you put it on OnlyFans? Because That's what initially it was created for. Yeah. Well, actually, I had OnlyFans when it first came up. Well, actually, That's initially what it was created for. Actually, what it was, yeah, it was. I, I actually uh, ran across a guy who was talking to some gentleman I was like, talking to for funding. And OnlyFans, he was looking for funding for the OnlyFans, and it was initially for artists yeah. to communicate with their audience. Their audience. Yeah, and then give oh, them no, special. Yeah, don't get him too much. So special. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> you know, your special videos and special information that gave them access to that you normally wouldn't have, and that's what it yeah. originally started off. Yeah. Somewhere in there, the it became yeah, yeah, and it just changed the whole game, man. It's, they know, said a whole lot of money around this world. A whole lot of money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, what what medical school did you go to? Oh, I did undergrad at OU, and then I went to Eugene Applebaum, uh, Wayne State. Eugene Applebaum. <laughs> that's what it's called, Eugene yeah. Applebaum College. Yeah, 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 Apple yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay, so you yeah, okay, yeah. Wayne State is pretty, uh, you know, well known and. Respected as for their medical and their law school. I was the only black person in my class. You was? Yeah. How difficult was that? Did that bother you any? No. 
You didn't care. No. Because you was doing scenes. I went scenes. into class, I, was, did my, I did my crap, and then I went home. Yeah. And then uh, did the movies. Even, and then drag like, Hey, me. Troy. Hey, Troy. I, I'm just tunnel vision. I don't want to associate with none of y'all because all y'all did. No, everybody's like very clicky. Yes. And so it's like, no, I'm just. Stay away from the BS and just keep it moving. So you know, initially I was gonna ask you a, a bunch of drug questions, but now no, I was, I, no, I don't. I'm this is your lifestyle. How do you accomplish this? And got to your goal as being a doctor is way it's more way, interesting it, than than talking about any type of prescription medication that you oh, possibly might have in your some, pocket some and want to share with people. Me. I done seen. I was like, no. no so so that. so you would go. So what would a typical day be? Go to class, do the porn, do the drag, and then go to sleep. <laughs> no, it's not. No. It's a oh. daily. Let me have more. I need a daily schedule schedule type of thing like that. No. Oh no. Okay. No, I, it, I, it was I, mainly I, school work. Okay. Mainly school work in, in, in school home. Work. Yeah. Because I took care of an elderly family member around about that time. Okay. So. Man, he's doing a lot. He was really focused. What, at what point did account. you decide that you wanted to become a doctor, and specifically a pharmacist? I've been doing it since I was 17. It was the only thing I knew how to do. Okay. Okay. And this is the only thing I know how to do. I don't. I was late, too lazy to try to learn something new, and was like, I'm just going to stick with this. Right. So you had done your research as a, you know, as a youth doing things that was not supposed to be doing, Basically. and then you took that information and it motivated you to become. Legitimized and become a doctor. Oh, yeah. At they, seventeen, they don't, even, they don't even qualify. The general public doesn't even qualify as doctors. They don't, but you guys still doctors, though. Yeah, you doctor still had to pharmacy. do a residency and everything, right? Yeah. All right. One year residency, then you have your uh, postgraduate year one. If you want to specialize, like I did in pediatrics, you do a postgraduate year two. Okay. It's it's hard, but it's it's rewarding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also mentally taxing. That's yeah. why I I kind of stepped back from it. Oh, which, so what do you mean when you say stuff? I like to tell people I'm retired as a pharmacist because okay. I'm not actively doing anything. I'm, I just work at, I'm, I step back from hospitals and everything. I just say, okay, and then I got bored, so I <laughs> called a buddy of mine who works for CVS, and he's like, oh, well, they're looking for some help at the one which is constantly up the street from my apartment. And he said, well, if you want to work here, you can work here. So it gets me out of the house. I'm still around the thing that I love to do. Okay. And... But I'm not active in that pharmacist role. I can sit back because the guy I work with and the young lady I work with who are still active pharmacists, they're younger than me. I'm 33. Okay. So uh, the, the head guy, he's 27, uh, just turned 27, actually. Okay. His birthday was in December. And then the other young lady, she's 28. And so I can step back. And even though it doesn't seem like that much of an age gap, mm -hmm. it is. Because I was trained yeah. by a lot more old school pharmacists who did things their way, and it was different. Right. Where it was like, oh, you, oh, this person wrote, this dentist wrote a prescription for amoxicillin tablets. We right. don't have any tablets in stock. Just switch it to capsules. Okay. And but whereas these younger folks, who I see them, and they're like, oh, we don't have any tablets in stock. I have to call the dentist and ask their permission to make sure is it okay to switch it to capsules. I'm like. Just change it. <laughs> just change but, it. But, I mean, but I get why they're doing that now, too, because there's so much shit that could happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know yeah, what I mean? Between the capsules maybe, and the tablets. Maybe one of them capsules will bust open or something. Well, it's like supposed it. to bust open. That's, well, that's I'm the talking job about, little, you yeah. know, it might not be. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but it, it, little nuances know, like the, very the, yeah, the, nowadays. the plastic or whatever the containment yeah. of it could affect the person. They could have an allergic reaction to it. Exactly. As so they're to trying the to cover their ass, basically. Right. Uh -huh. Which I do understand. Mm -hmm. Whereas older school trained people like me are just like, just, just, here. just, just take it here. Hey doc, I, I got tablets. Yeah, what, we ran what, out of tablets. What year? What year did you uh, graduate? Seventeen. Seventeen. Said seventeen. Yeah. I thought you was I'm talking about you. You some older way. How I was ten to tall. I thought you graduated in '99 or something. Yeah. No, I was I was trained, but see, the people I was trained by, they were like old crotchety pharmacists in their sixties and seventies, waiting to retire. Crotchety. Yeah, crotchety. Waiting to retire. <laughs> right. And the, uh, these newer people, because as you see more and more pharmacists coming out, because there's actually a shortage of pharmacists, the, the younger ones that are more like covering their behinds and all that. They're training the younger ones, whereas I had I had Biff. <laughs> said Biff. Happy and Biff. Yeah. Yes. Death of a Biff. salesman. Had I try? Yes, this is beneath me. I think you should use tablets instead of tablets. He had Randolph. They wouldn't do this anymore. Hey, yeah. Randolph. So, what do you think is causing the shortage? A uh, pharmacist. Yes. Mental stress. Huh? Mental stress. What do, what do you the mean? Schooling is hard. The schooling. So yeah. you. The schooling oh, is hard. they can't handle it. No. So you figure this generation is coming up that's trying to... One guy to I remember it. in the middle of an exam called his mom, and he told his mom to come and get him. 
<laughs> Mom, I can't take it anymore. Basically. This cat is too much, basically. man. Nobody slipped him a pill to help him go? No Adderall or anything? <laughs> no. Nobody gave me any Adderall? No. No. I only had other uh, substances in my yeah, life at the time. He would have just been very, Even worse. In, very energetic. <laughs> Mom, hurry up, come get me. He would have been hurry energetic up, and paranoid. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Amazing. That's crazy. So, I mean, yeah, I've, you've had crazy random people come up, you know, trying to get their prescriptions. and like The worst thing I hate are the people that try to play dumb. They'll call the CVS, and we can see your whole profile from, like, 10 years ago. Yeah. You've been getting the same damn thing all the time. Right. Every week. Right. And then, okay, uh, well, I see three prescriptions ready for you. What are you trying to pick up? Um, uh, my, my pain pill. I, I don't know what it's called. You know what it's called. You picked it up every single week. Or, you know. You should have at least. You I know, should know the molecular structure of it now by the time. I know. I know. My uh, my aunt used to get on people's nerves. My great aunt used to get on people's nerves. I'm calling for Mary Flock. Prescription. F as in Frank. L as in Locke. No, no, o as in Orchid. L as in C as in Color. But see, they're older. They're older, so they don't really know how to do it or the people that call up and say they birthday I didn't know this, this was a thing right. with older people that they would say their birthday in a different way they recite it like a bible verse and they say oh well I'm calling for to see if John Smith's medication I was like okay well what's your birthday the fourth month the 15th day of 1945 and I've seen a lot of them do it older yeah. black people do this and it's like why are you sitting up there like on the third day he rolls again? <laughs> just say, just say four fifteen twenty five or whatever. Yeah, well, that wasn't the way I was told. On the fifth day of December, the 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 uh, exactly nineteen or uh, thirty two. Uh, I've heard nineteen ought thirty two. Nineteen ought. Ought time ought is not ought. Not time not is not. You ain't heard nothing until you heard uh, B C before. Um, what's that? I done seen some people that look like they need to be 430 BC? No. Oh. <laughs> I done seen people come and pick up their prescriptions and say, well, I, it, well, the refill is too soon. The insurance won't pay for it until like two days from now. Well, I need this medication or I'm going to die. Wow. You, you look dead already. Mm. I ain't never seen somebody with that much makeup on looking casket ready. Casket ready. Oh, he said, don't think she miss with some embalming fluid. Basically. <laughs> So uh, you boom. fell asleep at my counter. I'm walking up to you like, mm, you look good. <laughs> Who did the body? Was this Clara? No, this was Pie. This was Pie did this on Plymouth. And then this... they wake up and you like, oh, oh shit. hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> they be sitting in the little chairs right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you look and you want to touch them like, I don't. Do, do I want to? Hey, just, hey, go just, give me a stick. I'm gonna poke. <laughs> you gonna poke the people? <laughs> exactly. Get, get me up. up. <laughs> So what, what do you think about, um, so when you were doing uh, pediatrics, right? Yes. You get a lot of parents who feel that they can self-diagnose their children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I hit something there. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think about, though? I think he needs some Adderall, you know, get him something else. Some uh... People need licenses to have children. <laughs> wow. I stand by that. People need licenses to have children. You, you have these, well... I remember one little boy had the measles. Mm -hmm. Measles. Bad case, too. Mm. Like, had to be hospitalized. Wow. And we're sitting around talking down in the pharmacy, and they're like, well, why does this boy have this bad-ass case of measles? And I'm like, that's the vaccine that they give you, like, before, you, like, your second day of life. Right, right. Your mom didn't want it. It causes autism. Wow. I'm like, this little boy has not had any vaccines, and he's still autistic. So, so what the hell? So what did it what did it prove, right? Nothing. Nothing. That it was her genes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't want you to I'm get going, none. I'm going. I'm going over. I'm going over. He, he said that I'm going over here with that. Hey, I mean, you, you brought it up. Right. Basically. Yeah. No, no. It's you've seen. You've seen. I've seen some shit. Right. And it's 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 not pleasant. Mm-hmm. And it makes you. It makes you want to fight people sometimes. Yeah. I, I, Especially I when you see how they treat their kids or how they neglect their kids. Mm. It makes you want to fight people. Now, yeah, I understand sometimes you need a break from your kids and whatnot and, like, get away. But, like, they, they, they're, they're tiny people that look like you and, they're all, and they always need money for something. <laughs> I broke best friends. Yeah, but broke-ass best friends. <laughs> I call my two girls. What? 
<laughs> For real, y'all crazy. Yeah, I broke best friends. That's yeah. what you call them? They always want something, but they ain't never got no money. Exactly. Every That's time we scary. drive by, my oldest daughter, McDonald's. No, yeah. we got food at home. Yeah. And see, I never understood. I used to hate that line as a kid. We got food at home. No, as 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 a parent now, yeah, we got food at home. So you understand it now? Yes. Yeah. And I understand yeah. now. Cause remember when you used to hate getting clothes as a kid? Now yes. you understand <clears throat> that gift really wasn't for you. That was for your parents. Mm -hmm. Cause clothes are expensive. Yeah, so they helping out the parents. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, look, you know we care about you, so here we're gonna get this. The kids need those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, socks, underwear, all that type of stuff is mm -hmm. not. An actual Christmas gift for the child. It's for the it's for hey, I'm looking out for you. Here you go. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I, I appreciate that. You know, the parents passing those gifts because I do that too. You yeah, know? yeah. But um, so that that was uh. Now they had a movie. I think it was on Lifetime. Was it on Lifetime where the woman uh made her daughter sick and was trying to you know keep her I remember ill so she story. could get the money. Get the money. Get the money. I think is her that name was Abby, Abby something? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I forgot know. the name. I forgot the no. The the actual girl. Okay. But she went to prison for like killing her mom. Mm hmm And they did an interview with her around about the same time that movie came out. That's uh, actually that's called Munchausen's by proxy. Hmm. Is it's, that the it's actual a psychological okay. disorder where like people with Munchausen's disease they constantly make themselves sick in order to get the attention. Hmm. Munchausen's by proxy. I'm going to make somebody else sick so that I am needed mm. by you. So did you way. see that a lot? Uh, no. no. You didn't see that a lot? <coughs> <coughs> I've been in jail for murder by that time. <laughs> so what was your stage name as a drag queen? Liquor License. <laughs> yeah, play on words. Lick her license. Wow. Figure out where the license is. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So would you, so you knew He came it. back to life for a minute. Come so you, 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 knew, you knew... Uh, you knew him when he was doing the drag queen thing. Oh no! Oh, you didn't know him at that point. Oh, well, I and you so so. We, <laughs> you said what? Oh, so you never stumbled across any of his wigs or high heels or anything oh, when no. he was at his house. At that time, they were all gone. They were all gone at that point. I wish he had some. <laughs> We'd go all you know the way what? to the club, and you'd be in your. I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more. Oh my gosh, you you be. Good I can barely walk in a straight line sober. Let alone some damn heels again. Mm. I mean, we could try. Nah. You did some platforms. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be calling y'all about a week later talking about, I'm in the hospital, I broke my damn ankle. <laughs> Why? She, 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 I hit a pothole in the street. She said, she said, she said, you, I wish you didn't throw them away. <laughs> I didn't throw them away. <laughs> I wish you didn't sell them in the yard sale last week. But, um, okay, Goodness. She, didn't, she didn't know his liquor license. <laughs> did you have, did you show a picture of liquor license? Yes. You did? Yes. And, and what was your, uh, what was your opinion? Was he a, a handsome woman or was he a ugly man? <laughs> was he handsome? Still masculine, man. Still masculine. Oh, <laughs> Come on over here, Chris. I like it, Chris. Guess Pop singing so, is a so <laughs> What, uh, so what was... Oh, no, you just nasty. Nasty. <laughs> nasty. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> so, uh... We got one time with Mike. Hey, look, man. <laughs> can't even... Okay, we can't do it. Okay, so sorry. what, what, uh... What was your reaction to the picture when you saw it? I honestly didn't think it was him. At really? first, I thought that that was, like, a completely different woman, and I got jealous, actually. Because uh, it was, like... I don't know, I, I don't know if he's looking up now, but... What are you whispering it for? Just say it. No, he's he was drop dead gorgeous. He was. <laughs> she was He'll probably show you. No, I don't want to see it if he was dead. I, I might get mad. <laughs> Why do you look so good? <laughs> no, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's so. That's interesting. That's interesting. So you are a uh, store manager. Yes. You manage a store. You okay. CVS. CVS. Yes, I'm not CVS. Okay. So you're at the same CVS that he works at. All in the family. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. The family that works together stays so, together. So what attracted you to this uh, this guy? Um, so when I was working, I was behind the counter. Mm -hmm. And um, there was this Earl, like older guy okay. hitting on me, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Grayer than a gray fox. <laughs> like, super the sugar fox, daddy. You know, you know, sugar daddy it, plus plus. Yeah. He, he, he was trying to sing to her. He, he had look. Look. Oh, baby. He was trying to serenade you me. Got me. Got me. That was the song he was singing, actually. 
Say he's just, just, just a friend. friend. <laughs> Don't nobody so, want you with those loose skin and old balls. <laughs> 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 So, um, when the guy left, uh-huh. he started uh, I, I went around. back into stand-up mode. He went, yes, yeah. he did. And then he gave me his phone number on a piece of paper. And then she lost it. <laughs> How he, dare he, you? He went back in there to get some more beers. I was like, why didn't you call me? Yeah. No, 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 no. It, I went more beers? Month. I went a whole month and then, uh, I, don't have, I don't have it on this phone. So you uh, went a whole month it, without beers? <laughs> no, no. I was coming in there looking for it, but like... I didn't see her, but then she happened to be at the register uh, covering somebody, and then she yelled out across the store, in a long ass line, called out across the store. I lost your number. Yeah. Hey, remember when you gave me your number? You don't know the day I had. You just don't put me on the spot like this. All right. Wow. At least she didn't and forget she, you, though. No, she handed me a pad and a pen again and to, to write it down. I, I was like, no, here. I tossed her my phone. I was like, no, put your number in there. Put your number in there, because then that way I'm going to have it. Right, and you ain't going to lose it no, no damn more. <laughs> no. <laughs> she ain't going to lose it no more. Nope. So, so, you know what? Here's another one. Right. Go for it. So they say women know when they see a guy if that's the guy. Who, <coughs> is that true? Is that when you saw him, did you, was it like a off the rip like yeah, yeah or was look. it a 50-50 <laughs> chance? Let me ask the question. <laughs> Was it like? Sure? Was it? <laughs> yeah. sure? Was it? Was it like a fifty-fifty thing? Because you know, some some women, you know, some situations you could look at a man and be like, oh yeah, I can see myself, you know, whatever romantically with this gentleman, or it's like, you know what, this guy does got my attention. Let me see what comes out of his mouth, and then you know, which which one was it? Was it off the rip when he came and told his joke and you laugh and he was like, oh oh yeah, he could have me romantically, or was it like, you know, what 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 was that? So, when I first met him, I was thinking of all different scenarios. Okay. Uh, honestly, I didn't know what we would become. Okay. I just knew that I liked him as a person. He was awesome. amazing. Yeah. He, he, he said, he not only are you handsome, but you're drop dead gorgeous too. <laughs> there you go. He joked around and he had a lot I'm of a fun girl. with it. He was always upbeat whenever he talked to I me. I love this guy. <laughs> and so I was just like, he seems, he seems safe. Like, like you, you would be safe around him because he's, he's not only and you he know, got the, and he got the a doctor, <laughs> but um, I like talk to you about the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> but if, this drink tastes funny. So what'd you say you do again? Finish your drink. I like your drinks. <laughs> These are really good. That's terrible. I'm like I didn't even put nothing in there. Oh my bad. But anyway, so. But he was. He was Your family like, probably watching this scared <laughs> shitless now. Like, oh my god, we gotta get her out of there. Oh my god, he's a he's a hoe. He, he did this. And yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. I don't care. He, he was a he was a hoe. <laughs> but he wasn't a, 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 a whore. He was a uh, an star. adult porn star. So that's the difference. He was a filmmaker. <laughs> Yeah. He was an actor. I, I was mean, a content creator. That's what yeah. the new word is now. Content creator. That's it. That's he a new word a, for he hoe. He was a content creator. That's a, yeah. That's a new word but for hoe. But you, obviously, you think, you still consider that as being a hoe because you keep saying that. And oh, as no. A hoe, um, it honestly, was mon- oh, no. me saying that is what we do. We call each other names playfully. Like, okay. I'll say, you're a hoe. And then he'll say something back, and I'll we'll continue. Oh, I can't we'll say what I laughing. call you normally. So now, 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 you you put this out here. <laughs> now, does this go any type of racial? That's yes. Because oh, <laughs> he got it. He he mouthed it to me, and I mouthed it right back. He <laughs> called her. The- he throws it off all the time. Like, hey, man, hey, look. The best hey, show on the radio, look, baby. Look, hey, look, hey, we had so much fun, man. Time is flying by. When you want to get your the swing, come to this show. The best thing on the planet, baby. baby. Streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and other top social media platforms. Like, follow, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching WJZZ. Cool, cool TV, TV, the coolest station in, in the, the world, world man. man. You know what I'm saying? You're right here with your man, Sway Covington. Timo, if he ain't doing up stand up, he's sitting down right here on the Sway Covington show, aka Silk, Silk Covington. Covington. <laughs> and we're our special <laughs> guests, Troy Rose. Troy Rose and Kelly. Kelly, hey, we thank you for coming out, man. You guys are the more doctor than welcome and the fiance. To come back anytime you want. Hey, thanks for tuning in. 
Don't forget, next Wednesday at 5 p.m., every Wednesday at 5 p.m., right here. You never know what to expect on the Sway Covenant Show. I love you. Keep tuned.